Welcome to the Velvet Room. Are you in search of the... Well, then. Shall we take a look? Have you... Oh. This is your progress so far. This persona, so you'll be summoning this one, may it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look... It's a deal. Well, the prices are a bit lower today. Take a look if you have the chance. What are you looking for? You gotta tell no. Everything looks good. It's all yours. Everything looks all right. Now that you're all right. Now that you're great. It's all yours. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing you. That reminds me. <sighs> Which one? You've come at a good time. There are some new items you can create. You're sure about this, right? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. Are you sure? Here, it's all yours. What would you like? Baby, stay with me. You're sure here, it's all yours. You gotta tell no. So, what will it be? You're sure you go. Thanks for waiting. You gotta tell no. Right here, it's all yours. I never feel like. What would you like? I never feel like. Are you sure? Here you go. Thanks for waiting. You're sure about here. It's all yours. So, what will it be? You gotta tell no. So, what will it be? What would you everything good? Come again. I'm 
you're here. What'd you bring? How many? Sure now. Sure. How many are you? All right. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm all right. I'm sure. All right. I'm all right. I'm sure. I'm all right. I'm sure. I'm all right. I'm sure. All right. I'm all right. I'm sure. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm sure. I'm sure now. All right. I'll take that. Up your eye, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm your eye, I'm your eye, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm your eye, I'm tired, I'll take that. Sure, I'm sure, I'm your sure, I'm tired, I'm your eye, I'll take that. You're handing that eye, I'm any sure, I, I'm your sure, I'm your eye, I'm sure, I'm your eye, I'll take that, I'm sure now, all right, I'll take that. All done here? Be seeing ya. You got it. Are my request wonderful is that true you have my thanks let's hear the results very well then come to think I will await a report of success Here are my requests.
Very well. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. House. Most excellent. Very well, then. Very well, then. the net cafe why don't we go someplace else wait let me see how much money i have oh no where's my wallet did i drop it but when i had it when i pulled out my train pass wait someone bumped into me outside the station sorry i'm gonna go back there and look around it'll just take a minute make sure you wait right here okay i'll be fine so don't come after me Stay right there, you got it? You say? You better shut your mouth, bitch! Ha! <laughs> if you don't behave, you'll lose more than just your wallet. your own damn business. You looking for trouble, huh? What, you trying to show off to this chick? Ha, you're outnumbered. Thanks. though you didn't have to beat them up so badly <sighs> hey why'd you come after me didn't i say to wait did you think i needed saving mm. i'm not helpless you know i got my wallet back by myself i didn't need your help <laughs> don't apologize I should be the one saying sorry, and thank you. I'll just go on ahead. I'm all right now. Sorry again. See you. Tomorrow will finally be our last operation. Yeah. We've been through so much over the last half year or so. Don't you think? Yeah, I guess it flew by. Hey, it was way better than just doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. <sighs> yes, that's true. Not a single thing we've done has been for nothing. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And it's been worth it. Sonata-san. Don't forget, we got to meet Koro-chan, too. Still, 
Two and a half years is a long time, Sonata Senpai. Oh, wait. It's been even longer for Aegis, hasn't it? I was in stasis for much of that time, so I haven't been operational for very long. How about you, Kirijo Senpai? You got your start before Sonata san, right? Hmm? Me? Yes. It was just me at first. Of course, Seas wasn't around back then, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you too? No. He didn't. I've been aware of the Dark Hour since I was a child. Once, my father's research team was ambushed by shadows while they were investigating Tartarus. When I witnessed the attack, I awakened to my persona. That's what happened? Apparently, I was the first ever to reliably control my persona. If that had never happened, then maybe none of you would be going through this right now. Senpai... Someone would have gotten involved eventually. It's not like we could just ignore what the shadows do to people. I suppose that's true. Tomorrow is our last operation, so make sure to rest up tonight. end of the moonlight bridge the 12th and final shadow hmm. so this is it and as we expected I'm detecting more persona users nearby it's Draga they know this is their last chance we expect it as much but don't be careless so it's them Saves us the trouble of looking for them. You've all fought admirably thus far. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. Got it. Roger that. Of course.
Yes. I trust you know what is at stake today. You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring. Yet, countless lives are lost each day, even without their intervention. <laughs> the ability to use a persona is not in itself evil. You have no reason to forsake it. So, why not just admit it? You do not truly wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves in the pursuit of self-satisfaction. I don't think you truly believe that. <sighs> you are foolish children indeed. Erasing the Dark Hour is the same as erasing yourselves. How can you not even conceive such a thought? Your imprudence is truly beyond comprehension. As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. It's time, Jin. What a bunch of fools. I can't stand to look at you. Fate shall decide which of us will remain. Come. Just don't know when to quit. Now then, it is time for your judgment. Out of my way. Can you dodge this? That's the way, leader. I'll go with. That's enough of a warm-up. It's time for the real deal. You're on! We shall show her so Target your weaknesses! Her 
Guys, sure are trouble. There you go. We shall show death to all. down just yet. Her What? I'll go with. than I thought. There you go. Seriously? Kaya. This will be your end. Death to all the Don't like no. this. Yukari-chan! Death to all the fools. Yuji, I think I can use it now.
Let's use this and regroup. You have more than just luck on your side. So be it. Persona! Persona! I treat you like a book. What to do? Persona! I'll take care of this. I've got this! Skill, huh? Ah, <clears throat> oh, we still lost. So, us experiments can't even stand up to a naturally awakened persona. Experiments? For us, it's not so simple. Our powers weren't awakened naturally. We can't even use them without straining our bodies. Don't you remember what your dead pal was carrying? So you were giving Shinji the suppressants. You guys don't have the slightest clue what'll happen if the Dark Hour disappears, do you? It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But without the Dark Hour, even Persona users like us will... Mm -hmm. Jin, that's enough. Now then. Ordinarily, we would withdraw here. But that is not an option tonight. This body, ephemeral though it may be, is worthless without my power. Therefore, I've only one choice. I shall prove my existence here and now! What are you doing?! Don't be so reckless! Jin? Sorry, but... I haven't forgotten what you said to me. You win. Go on and defeat the Shadow. Maybe then you'll see what you've been fighting for this whole time. Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're gonna jump! I'd rather die than surrender to you! 
and take a good look. This is how we live. They jumped. What the hell? Don't let it get to you. They chose how they wanted to go out. We're not done here yet. Our real target is waiting. Let's just focus on that for now. Leader!
Let's do what we can to take it down. Did I stand on this enemy? I see. So this is what we're up against. One step at a time.
can win this. Let's do it! Stand down! Is it... over? The operation is over. Or should I say, mission complete. Yes. It's finally over. Leader, I believe a celebration is in order. What will be our victory cheer? One, two, three. Hip hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray? Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! So, Kirijo-senpai, you're gonna help us with the victory party tomorrow, right? You certainly don't waste any time. Well, I do suppose we've earned it. Well, in that case, how about sushi? Sushi, huh? Hm. It has been a while. Well, I've got dibs on the halibut and sea urchin. Oh, uh, then I call the fatty tuna. Uh, oh, we're divvying it up already? Um, can I get the salmon roe then? Hey, wait a minute! You can't do that! I reserve the fatty tuna, bluefin, shrimp, squid, scallops, and sea eel. Hey, that's not fair! You don't even eat! How immature, fighting over sushi. What? Mitsuru-san, please order Tamago for me. They say you can tell a chef's skill by how he prepares eggs. A chef's skill? Jeez, how old are you again? Okay, okay. I'll have the very best delivered tomorrow. You mean it? Oh, man! I'm so glad I'm still alive! Junpei, you can have the leftover dried gourd roll. What? But it was my idea in the first place! <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's time to say goodbye to the Dark Hour. Even though it seemed like a curse, for some reason I feel sad to see it go. Yeah. We really did it, didn't we? Yes, we've saved the world, even if no one knows it. Yeah. Good morning. This is the first time we've talked during the day. Isn't this weather lovely? This really is the start of a new day for both of us. All the fragments of my memory are finally back together. I understand my purpose now. The time has come. I know this is going to hurt, but there's something I have to tell you. This is goodbye for you and me in my eyes. Our friendship was a miracle. I want you to know that. But even miracles don't last forever. If only they did. I will always treasure the time we had together. Today may be the end, but the bond between us can never be severed. Remember that. Be 
it was fun while it lasted so long. Sushi. The slices are huge. Man, I'm starving. Can we eat? Hey, where are Aige san and Ikutsuki san? He took her to the lab for a tune up or something. He said they'll join us later. <laughs> the chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? That must be my father. We've been waiting for you. So it's finally over then. That's right. Uh, who's he? Can't you tell? That's Kirijo Senpai's dad. She looks exactly like him. Y you think so? Congratulations, everyone. You've done well. No words can express my gratitude. Though you'll never receive the recognition you deserve, your achievement was truly monumental. Thank you, really. <laughs> to you, I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. Oh, it was no big deal. Thanks to you, the 12 shadows behind all this chaos have been destroyed. You've carried this burden long enough. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. As of midnight tonight, the specialized extracurricular execution squad will be disbanded. Disbanded? Oh, right. No longer must you risk your lives in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Is something the matter? Nah, it's nothing. All right, everyone, it's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits. And don't worry about holding back. Eat as much as you'd like. Sweet! Freaking finally! Listen up, everyone. Now that we're good and stuffed, how about we take a picture together? A picture? Actually, I did try to take one last night. Except I forgot it doesn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you to the battle? Well, yeah. I mean, it was our last battle and all. Excuse me, mister. You mind taking our picture? Ugh, you feel like such a tourist. But, you know, I do kind of want a picture, too. Oh, wait. Ikutsuki san and Aigus aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone, get together. Come on, squeeze in tight. Everyone, get real close to me. You want me close too? Uh, no, not you. Jeez, don't make the poor camera guy wait all day. 
Hey, we're good to go. You can take the picture whenever. How's this for a pose? Hey, get your hand out of my face! <sighs> Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? We'll just take another one when I guess and Akutsuki san get back, all right? Yes, yes, we hear you. I could really get used to this worry free lifestyle. How about you, Koro chan? Are you excited for all this meat? You're full already. Are you kidding? I'm stopped. Yeah, me too. I couldn't eat another bite. How about you, senpai? <sighs> I'm good for now. Nah, suit yourself. Or am I real hungry? <laughs> Don't give the dog raw fish, you'll make him sick! Ooh. I guess an akutsuki san sure are running late. And just look at the time. It's almost midnight. in the suits transmogrified <laughs> the dark hour still happening senpai what's going on i'm not sure guess i was right to have my doubts yeah something didn't feel right <sighs> say what hey do you hear that it sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Where's Ikutsuki? And he hasn't even called. What could he be doing with Aegis that's making him so late? <sighs> Mitsuru? Everyone, prepare to move out. We're heading for Tartarus. Um, to do what? I don't know. But that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. Ikutsuki san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Kutsuki-san! What are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the Shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour... It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Kirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death, the Almighty, shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? 
Is he out of his mind? You see, I too was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry. But that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be. Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad, he said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah. Uh... That was, in fact, his recording. Of course, I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you... <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light, but... You are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess it's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them, and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess what's wrong? I guess please! Engaging. What's going on here? <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> what is this? <sighs> Damn it! I can't get these off! What is the meaning of this? It's exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now, the prophecy shall be fulfilled. 
What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... Affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. <laughs> you doing, I guess? I... I... Fine! I'll do it myself! Ten years. I've wasted ten long years! I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions! Failure of a machine! I'll do it! Koromaru! It's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs> How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san! Father! 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 My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him!
like they cleared out the chairman's room. Well, no surprise there. Ikis isn't here either. I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Kirijo Group CEO dies suddenly. They're blaming it on an illness, though. <sighs> yeah, it's never the truth. <sighs> nope. Kirijo Senpai's not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot to be settled. Like the funeral and the family business. She'll probably have her hands full for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? <gasps> What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of panic. I hope Aigis is okay. Yeah. Man. I want to hear what they have to say, but they haven't made a peep. Am I supposed to just wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the company execs. Might explain the delay. Yeah. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know who to fight now. He kept saying stuff about the fall. What would have happened if we were sacrificed? Hmm. So many unanswered questions. Yeah. But standing around here isn't going to solve anything, right? True. But there is one thing we know. Tartarus is still around and shadows are swarming the place. We should train so we're ready for whatever we might be up against. Right. All right, that's it for tonight. Try to get some rest, even if you can't sleep. Okay. Roger that. Oh, right! Yukari-chan! Hmm? What's this? A disc? Um... There were traces of a video on the chairman's PC. A lot was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. And, well, I think it's something you need to see. <sighs> Thanks, Spooka. I'll be sure to watch this later. Mm hmm Just don't forget! So it's just a normal DVD? Alright, let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Isn't this... that video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. That's why I had to do something to put a stop to it. <laughs> However, in doing so, I released a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Please, you need to listen very carefully. Whatever you do, it is imperative that you do not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Uh-huh. This part's... I wasn't able to do anything to stop this madness. He won't listen to a word I say. He's been seduced by the devil's temptations. Those monsters will try to reunite and become one again. If they succeed, then we're all doomed! I'll say it once more. Do not go after the shadows that were released! This is the original video. The real one, before Gutsky went and tampered with it. Dad was trying to put a stop to the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one request. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon, and I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, as your father, I was never happier in my life than when I was with you. This really is my dad. I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. Dad? Dad? <laughs> I know one thing for sure now. I was 
right to believe in you. I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad? As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward? There is one thing you mustn't forget. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please, do keep that in mind. Well then, I bid you farewell. Yeah, oh, Jory. Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Huh? huh? Is that not it? I was right. This fear. This pain. Junpei, in two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Huh? Oh. I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... 
This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit, but now it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei, don't come here anymore. Chidori. But why? My requests. My apologies. By all means. Of course. I will await a report of success, if I may say so. I will await a report of success. I will await a report of success. Very well.
day. Here are my requests. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Well then, shall we take a look? This would be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. to inherit. It appears it will receive an... Im so it begins. Personas you would like to fuse. Very well. We look. This is Elizabeth speaking. I'm... It's... I thought... Well, then. I see you back. Whatever like is, we 
Are my rec wonderful? Oh my! If I may say, I will await a report of success. Very well. A Let's hear the result. Oh, my. Very well, then. Go have a look for yourself. Got 
your back, don't you worry about that no. It's been a good day, good night It's gonna be a good day, good night in there real quick. Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Uh, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Well, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure it will be fine, as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Good. On second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. Sorry for the pointless detour. It's just... Look, I don't really get it myself. Hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting... I think I made her upset. I want to tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? Time, huh? <laughs> Makes more sense than going to see her without a plan. It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop. You know, no matter how motivated I get, it, it's getting me nowhere. In that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments, or if I could just hit the ball. Man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. I just, uh, never mind. Thanks, man. Whew. Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. 
But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems, huh? And besides, I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudano a Katsu to wake us up. But wait, do they even have Katsu down there? Today, we'll talk about... Uh, I just can't concentrate. I get so worked up when I picture his face. One of my employees... Maybe I should have seen it coming. There was a young man who was working for me. A hard worker, graduated from a distinguished private university. But this month, he couldn't meet his sales quota. So I docked his pay. Self-confidence went down the drain. Then, just stopped coming to work. He's probably cooped up in his home or something now. None of my business. I just mailed him a letter of termination. COD. It's his fault the company's in the red this month. I've wasted so many resources. All those expenses for training, hardware, facilities, labor costs. Oh, it makes me sick just thinking about the net losses. Ugh. Well, he only worked for me for two years, so at least I won't have to provide a pension. Oh, I better not talk about it, or I'm going to pass out. It's difficult growing up with no money. You can't even afford shoes for gym class, you know? Going barefoot in the winter is torture. I've been thinking, how would you like to model exclusively for my company? Your innocent appearance would be a perfect camouflage for the ugly realities of business. Think about it, will you? Join me, and you'll never have to worry about being shoeless in PE. Oh, better get going. Oh, we're short staffed now, so I'll have to reevaluate the budget for next month. If I decide to hire someone new, their training is going to cost a fortune.
amazing! I'm good. Not. Thanks? But. Say, how do you feel about a pink alligator? I thought so too. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush green forest, but he turned out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this. So what do you think? Really? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. The wind is going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. I'd like to see you again sometime.
Flowers. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. Just don't bother denying it. And if it weren't true, it'd be even weirder. Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. I can't not go now after all this. But... Well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. Yo. Today we have yet another transfer student. Is this really our third one? <laughs> Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, not so loud. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work, and that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi? That seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. 
Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? Pay close attention, all right? Mochizuki-kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki-kun, sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekoda. I mean, d Mr. Ekoda has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team too. I'd like to join one too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Whoa! See for yourself. if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet, so I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. Thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? 
Oh, right. I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry. I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. Morning.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. This persona, yes? Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. This persona, yes? So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look... Let's make this quick. This room's smaller than my bedroom, but it's still surprisingly big. Let's take a break. So, I've decided that I'm going to study abroad. To be honest, I'm not really excited about it. But I already told my teacher I don't want to be a doctor, so... Do you want something to drink? It's on me. I almost forgot. Did you want something cold? Or maybe... Hey! Look out! Hey! hey hang hang in, in there! there. Can, Can you hear me? me? You're awake! Oh, thank goodness. I kept calling your name, but you wouldn't wake up, so I... I don't see any cuts on your head, so I don't think you'll need stitches. Can you remember your name? Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Really, it's such a relief. Well, your pupils aren't dilated, so I don't think you have a concussion. I was worried that when you fell, you hit your head or your face, and I... Anyway, do you remember what happened? The box. I was the one who put it up there. We have a maid who cleans our house, so I don't do much cleaning myself. And I just got lazy and put it up there. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. All I could think about was what would happen if you didn't wake up. I was so scared. I felt so helpless seeing my friend in trouble and not being able to do anything. I'm not a doctor. You're really tough. Miss Toriyumi told me about what happened to your parents, but me? My parents are always there when I get home. Maybe I take them for granted. You know, seeing you lying there, 
I think I understood what it must feel like to lose someone close to you. Do I want to be a doctor? But I'd be doing exactly what my dad wants. Uh, sorry, we should get going. Can you walk? Here, you can lean on me. So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called Que Sera Sera. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift, and uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Mm, maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Yes, I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if 
she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Thanks. I feel a lot better hearing you say that. I thought about it a lot, and this is the best I could come up with. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what had happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start. But I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and aiga san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. I will. I've done enough thinking. Now, I just want to try doing all kinds of new things. I think I have an idea of how to live my life again. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. You think so? Well, that's how I feel at least. You're always leading the way and giving everyone courage. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? in my greatest effort, I will achieve the greatest outcome. One needle, one soul. This is my super day. My everything. Huh. That cheap material has been completely transformed. I could never have done this on my own. Without you, I would probably be back home already. And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. Many thanks. Tatajik and I. Your kind words help me forget my aches and pains. There's something I need to tell you. I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Tsubarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. And now, 
We put the final touches on this kimono. Sure. I am so tired, I may be hallucinating a little bit. But this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go! Then take care of cleanup afterwards. This time, I want to try hot pot. I can probably handle that. Okay. Hey, don't worry. We've got chicken, onions, carrots, mushrooms, tofu. Hmm. Nothing strange here. Just regular ingredients. All right. Why don't you go get a plate and sit tight? I've been so busy lately. I've had to leave most of the boxing team activities to the junior members, but they actually won a team event at a rookie tournament. So, I thought I'd put together this little celebration for them. <laughs> it was just a small tournament that a third year like me couldn't even enter. But still, they really came together as a team to win it. So even though I wasn't much of a captain for them, I'm still proud of their achievement. I gotta say, though, Hot Pot is an interesting concept. Every ingredient adds its own flavor. And the end result is so great. It'd be nice if C's could mesh just as well. With a ragtag group of members. <laughs> I know everyone's wildly different from each other. But if there's anyone who can make it work, it's you. Anyway, when I'm out there on the front lines, I'll make sure I'm in a position to showcase my strengths. Boxing's taught me that once I get into the rhythm of battle, nothing can stop me. That's my fighting style. Don't forget it. It's nice to be able to share a hot pot with someone else like this. Maybe I'll do this with the boxing team too, if I ever get a chance. All right, now how do we finish the broth? Maybe udon or rice porridge? Or how about some protein dumplings? And that's why That's right. Well, the answer was for...
stole my wallet and you came to help me? Um, sorry I got so mad at you. I was just frustrated. I don't like having to depend on other people, but it ended up happening anyway. <sighs> you know, I couldn't say it at the time, but I'm actually glad you came. Maybe because it's you. So, I want to thank you properly. Thanks for your help back then. I really appreciate it. It was honestly kind of cool. Oof, that's a big weight off my shoulders. Let's head back down. The roof doesn't get a lot of foot traffic. So I think it's a good place to have serious conversations. But couples tend to sneak up here too. If anyone sees us, the rumor mill might go crazy again. Wouldn't that be annoying? You know, if people assumed we were dating. <laughs> really? I'm not sure if you're being brave or oblivious. Still, what's something special about you? You don't get bogged down by what other people think. <laughs> Uh-oh. And they say a sneeze means someone's talking about you. <laughs> well, it's probably nothing. Let's head on home, yeah? Morning. Huh. Hey there. Uh. <laughs> yeah.
Probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Yeah, I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will ya? I'm not gonna hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. But first, I have to win at the regionals, no matter what. For their sake, too. this at the store when I said I was looking for a movie with a cool, hard-boiled main character. But so far, he just seems like a reckless old man to me. He even fell for that woman's lies. Do people really think this guy is cool? Really? I don't get it. He's surrounded by gangsters again! Wow! He was so cool! He actually knew it was a lie the whole time, and he was just pretending to be tricked. His signature phrase was so good, too. You can't be a detective without smarts, and you've got no right being a detective without a heart. when you have time.
get on with it. you hey talk about you hardly ever miss student council meetings I've been looking all over for you did someone ask you to come find me well yeah I'm not a member or anything but still oh, well sorry about that you've been pretty busy huh what with the class trip and all it's for both second and third years so I imagine you have your hands full too the class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri-kun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! Hey there. Hey, listen. 
listen. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C quit messing with us! Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. <laughs> Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. All right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. <sighs> I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to.
Off, just as the hero passed out from pushing himself too hard. That part where his teammates managed to keep an even score while he's out was such a tearjerker. The game's almost over, and our hero, still weak after a short rest, steps up to the bat. Hey, you totally get it. I honestly thought you wouldn't be into it so much. It's predictable, but it doesn't stop it from being awesome. Man, I forgot how good stories like these are. All right, now that we're at the best part, let's go full speed till the end. Whew. What a ride. The hero totally kicks everyone's asses in the end. And that part where he's so exhausted that he like surges with power, it's like his senses heightened to a whole nother level. Would it be so freaking cool if we could do that? Think so? It's gonna be intense, you know. It's what separates the chumps from the masters. You can't just rely on raw strength. You gotta concentrate, let go of all that tension, then your power's all like, womp, womp, womp. And then you unleash it like, Pshoom! Well, maybe you power up like, then you let her rip. That makes sense? Dude, I think I might actually be able to pull this off. I gotta look into this more. Wanna read it one more time? Just the last part, I mean. And that, my friend, wraps up the series. Being alone's fine, but with gems like this one, it's better to share the fun with a pal. I'll bring you something else next time. We should do this again when you're free. Let's call it a night, shall we? Man, I'm gonna sleep like a log.
Zombies. from pests than the data in my prediction suggests. We haven't taken any specific measures against them. What is the cause of this? Oh, this is... Look, I've sighted a ladybug larva. It's very small and adorable. Agreed. We wouldn't want to interrupt it while it's eating. Ladybugs are the natural predators of pests that damage plants. That would explain why there weren't any harmful insects around. Thank you very much, little ladybug. Even in just these tiny planters, there is so much life. There's no one to teach them. They're just doing the best they can. Hmm. My apologies. I got distracted. Let's keep working. Excuse me, please apply the repellent on that end. Pests deserve no mercy. Status reads all green. No problems to report. That concludes our mission for today. We should head back now. Same thing as you. Oh, I was just thinking. Doesn't eating fish remind you of the ocean? It's a part of our lives, I guess, living along the coast. We even spent our vacation at the beach. Hey, after all this is over, why don't we go somewhere different? Like the mountains. We could have lunch outdoors. Maybe we'll even see a deer or something. <laughs> what do you think? Hold on. What's this all of a sudden? Just the two of us? I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, it it's not that I don't want to. It's just... I'm not ready yet. Oh, God. What am I saying? Either way, um, I'm sure it'd be fun to hang out somewhere together. I could even make food for us. I might not look like it, but I'm a pretty good cook. Just you wait and see. <laughs> it's been a while since we've talked about going on vacation. I'm excited just thinking about it. I'm not sure how to say this, but when I'm with you, I don't feel so alone. I mean, I do have friends, and there's everybody at the dorm, but usually I feel like the real me is trapped somewhere deep down inside. Maybe it's because of my family situation, but I'm always pushing people away without realizing it. Lately, though, that's been changing. And I think it's thanks to you. Well, that was delicious. 
delicious. It's getting late. Shall we head out? Thanks, so. Excuse me. 